The following contest is a two out of three falls match. Introducing first, from Salt Lake City, Utah. We're just moments away from this huge tag team match, guys. Pounds, and I don't think I've ever seen John these four superstars Leo more motivated Jonathan. than they appear to be heading into this one, Michael. And his partner from Hollywood, California, weighing in at 245 pounds, Eddie Lashley. Ladies and gentlemen, we have tag team action coming up. And given the state of the tag team division right now and how incredibly competitive it is, this match might just make or break one of these teams. And their opponents, at a combined weight of 1,280 pounds, the WCCW Deep South, Atunga the Mastodon, and Atunga the Mastodon. Both legal men are in the ring and set to start things off here. Oh. We're ready to go. And he's a proud guy. That Ooh. title may not be on the line here, but that doesn't mean he doesn't want to win this match. Dominating shoulder tackle. Boom! <laughs> During the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship, the teams became very familiar with one another. In June of 2017, the teams met in a two out of three falls bout on Monday Night Raw. The most important fall in a two out of three falls contest is the first fall. If a team can win the first fall, that sets the tone for the rest of the match and your opponents are playing catch up. Militant. Ooh. The two out of three falls match that saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus was a throwback of sorts. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, championship title defenses and grudge matches were often decided in the two out of three falls format. Cesaro and Sheamus didn't waste any time and scored the decisive first fall after a road kick rocked Jeff Hardy. Cesaro and Sheamus wanted to continue their domination of Team Extreme, but the Hardys had other ideas as Matt tied things up at one fall apiece after a twist of fate on the Swiss Cyborg. 
After a swanton bomb by Jeff Hardy, the match broke down and the third fall was ruled a double count out. In order to be a premier tag team, a superstar and their teammate must have that continuity where they're a well-oiled machine inside the ring. I'm talking about classic techniques like cutting the ring in half, isolating your opponent, relegating them to your corner, and making frequent tags so that the fresh man is always in the ring. That's how you keep your opponents off balance. Corey, a few moments ago, you took us through what it takes for a tag team to be successful. The continuity between tag team partners is crucial. When a team is able to keep one opponent in the ring for an extended period of time without making a tag, they're able to focus their attack on one individual and one body part. And that's when things really start to take shape if you're on the tag team that's in control. Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. For many years, members of the WWE Universe and the WWE locker room have felt that tag team matches should have two referees. One referee is in the ring overseeing the action, and the other is located out on the floor, making sure teams follow the rules and do not engage in potentially damaging behavior. I think that's a good idea, something perhaps Mr. McMahon might want to consider. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. Oh, what a close line. Forcefully delivered. He's not looking good here. And he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. Boom, right to the face. Beautiful technique. Just punched him right in the mouth. Oh, Relent. Ooh. Ooh, what impact. Talk about having the living hell beat out of you. He needs to find a way to oh, create man. some space or else this thing's over. That's over at this point. I think I can safely speak for all of us when I say that this beating he's taking is pretty tough to watch. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like... Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Over the last few years, the tag team scene in WWE is hotter than it's ever been. One of the teams that has shined brighter than any other is the New Day. Xavier Woods, Big E, and Kofi Kingston are two-time tag team champions. But it was their second reign that put the New Day name in WWE history books forever. Wicked clothesline! Whoa, down he goes! That was impressive, Cole. The tag team competition right now is as heated as it's ever been since the Attitude Era. Everywhere you look, there's another tremendous tag team combination looking to make a run at the WWE Tag Team Gold. When we talk about the New Day, the team won a fatal four-way match in their second tag team title reign at 2015's SummerSlam. I may think the power of positivity stinks like a bag of rotting garbage and that Woods, Kingston, and Big E are idiots. I think we know what this is. I'll destroy your face. To think, I almost wrote him off earlier. Nobody can sustain a drop like that, Michael. A lot of pride on the line here in this tag team encounter, but only two of these competitors will end up getting what they came for. The win. the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. Oh, boy, he is rolling. What a strike. Right on the mark. Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Here he goes. Nailed it. This could be the turning point, Cole. He's looking for the win. Digging deep for a kick out. That would have been a shocker. There have been times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have formed and over time they develop and bond and become an outstanding tag team combination. 
the team that immediately comes to mind is the powerhouse duo of Cesaro and Sheamus. After their thrilling best of seven series, I wouldn't think they'd develop into a top. This could be it. The claw may be done here. This one's over, guys. How'd he do that? I don't know, Michael, but good thing. I don't think he could have taken much more of that. Tagged in. Axe handle finds its target. Suplex. Another great tag team match here tonight. I don't think the tag team scene has ever been hotter here in WWE. Got the full Nelson. Slam! This one is over. That'll knock you silly, that's for sure. And will this be it? Yes. And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. Going all the way up. His hopes of winning this tag team match are starting to dwindle. He's not looking good, and at this point, he has no option but to make it to his corner and oh, nasty impact. Oh, it's over. He leaves no doubt right there. Oh, boy, he is rolling. He might have it. Harsh impact. And there it is, boys. Second time? Sure, why not? The tag team seen here in WWE is undergoing a bit of a renaissance, and it's because of action like this. Got the full Nelson. Man, what a slam. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Bold move going forward again. The cover. One, two, three. What a strike. He's looking a little off balance. He doesn't want to absorb much more punishment if he wants to win here. The abuse his body has gone through in this match is a little disturbing. I don't know why he hasn't made the tag yet. It's almost like he enjoyed Von Eric Claw. Game, set, match. This one is over. Looks like he's starting to tire. If they want to win this match, he really needs to make a tag soon. This is where we find out who the better man is. And at this point, it could very well be either one of these guys. That's how close this thing is. Looks like he wants back in this match. That certainly looks to be the case, Michael. Can't believe this one's still going on, especially after the beating that's been delivered tonight. That will hinder your modeling career. This capacity crowd starting to sense the end is near, and I don't disagree. This is not where he wants to be at this point in this tag team match. Unless he has no interest in walking away with the winner's end of the purse, he needs to make a tag immediately. Let's not write him off yet. Remember, his opponent isn't necessarily whistling Dixie either. We've seen some great tag team action over the years here in WWE, and I can attest that this is no different. His partner's looking to get back in this thing. Caught his breath a bit, now he's ready to go again. Irish whip. Tagged in. Axe handle finds the mark. The end may be near, folks. 
unless this thing turns around here, this tag team match is all but over. Things have really gone from bad to worse for him here, guys. He's going to need to make a tag sooner rather than later. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. But you know what? So does his opposition. This is about as close as it gets. Three. Oh boy, he is rolling. And it's reversed. Oh, so tear the features clean off your face. Not the fall that hurts, it's the sudden stop at the end. Dangerously close to getting counted out. Definitely cutting it close, Michael. And he's heading back in. Trying to dislocate the shoulder. That should do it. He somehow breaks free. Nice, but he clearly has next to nothing left to give here. Oh, man. He's not going to like this. Uh-oh. Here we go. Here we go. Right to the face. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? He can end it here! One! He's looking at it. Oh my goodness, this hurts! Oh! That's what he was looking for, Michael. Man, it's almost impossible to get out of that. How about another look at some of the highlights? Oh, I can't believe this. Highlight for one superstar, low light for another. Remember this? No doubt about it, he brought his A game as you can see here. Here are your winners, Don, Leo, Jonathan, and Eddie Lashley. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a very big win here tonight. These two work so well together, Michael. I'd be surprised if they went their separate ways anytime soon. Guys, I have to say, that was an amazing match.